Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make sautéed eggplant with grape tomatoes and garlic. Um, so our ingredients are really simple. I have one cup of sliced, peeled, cleaned, and salted eggplant, so it's ready to cook. Uh, I have half of a cup of sliced grape tomatoes. I have three cloves of thinly sliced garlic and about two tablespoons of olive oil. I have my skillet over here, beautifully nice and warm. It's like, like medium heat, medium low, because I don't want it to be like too hot, because I'm gonna start um, by putting my olive oil in and then adding my garlic. And I don't want to fry my garlic and I don't want to brown my garlic, so I don't want it to be too hot, because um, that can happen in a flash. So I'm just going to pour, I'm just gonna pour half in right now and just start my garlic. And then always any time uh, that you have a pan that's you know larger than the immediate amount you know, of olive oil that you pour in, I just wanna make sure the whole bottom gets coated. So you can either do that by pushing on a spatula or I do it just by like you know rotating around my pan. So this is gonna get nice and warm. And then I'm going to add in my three cloves of thinly sliced garlic. Beautiful. Just plop, plop, plop. And again, I don't want it to be too hot. Mmm. And we're just gonna just let this go for just like a minute. We just wanna soften it up a little bit, um, get some kind of that like sharp, pungent flavor out so it's nice and yummy. Okay. So we're gonna let this go for just a minute and then we're gonna add in our eggplant. So it smells delicious. It'll start to get like a little bit translucent, which is what you want. and it will like start to release the flavor and it's good, good. Okay, one of my bits is starting to brown, so I'm gonna add in the eggplant now. Just dump that in. And I'm gonna move it around the pan because I wanna be sure that each piece of eggplant is getting enough olive oil and like cooking surface area. I don't want them to be like all overlapped. Okay. Just scooch that right up with the garlic so it absorbs some of the wonderful flavor. Turn my heat up a little bit. And I'm gonna let this go for about two minutes before I add my tomatoes. I do want my tomatoes to get kind of like nice, or like a little bit blistered, a little bit of like that browning if I can have that happen, but I don't want them to become total mush and overcook. So I'm gonna let them chill out here while I start my initial cooking. So we're gonna give it about two minutes on this side and then I'll kind of like move it around, flip it, add my tomatoes in. So hold on one second. Okay, so it's been sauteing, looks amazing for about two to three minutes. I've kind of been moving it around. It cooked a little bit faster than I thought. My heat was higher, so that's always fine. You just wanna, you're, you're paying attention to the texture. You want it to get nice and soft and this sort of like grayish green, which sounds terrible, but I swear it tastes delicious, um, sort of color. My garlic is starting to brown a little bit, which is perfectly fine if that happens at this stage. Um, but I'm gonna lower the heat because I don't want it to get any more brown and I'm gonna add in my tomatoes now. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of that remaining olive oil on the tomatoes, just so they can get nice and brown and delicious. These will cook pretty fast, and you don't ever obviously want your tomatoes to be like mushy. Okay, so my eggplant is really definitely close to done. My tomatoes are getting nice and soft. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper to taste right now, because um, that's what I like, but Leave it off. Remember, you've already salted your eggplant, so it might have a little bit of salty flavor residue, but not much. And then just a little dash of pepper. Again, whatever you like. However much you like, however little, this is your dish. I'm just gonna give it like a little shake and toss. Okay, so my tomatoes are starting to really soften, which is good, but I'm done. And it's so lovely because grape tomatoes have almost this like perfumey sweet smell. I absolutely love them. And they are gonna be so delicious here. Let's just pour this on. Amazing. I cannot wait to eat this delicious side dish. Or on its own, you could put it on top of a salad. Honestly, however you wanna eat this, it will be absolutely delicious. There you have it. That's how you make sauteed eggplant with grape tomatoes and garlic.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.